Hey everyone, how are you? So hopefully all of you guys are in good condition and in good health as always. By the way, this is Mark and our topic for this day, um, we will be creating a new kind of strain but we will be particularly um, creating or doing a good pattern um, on its particularly on its body but before anything else guys i just want to shout out our fellow hobbyist here um actually i have my list list here <laughs> our fellow hobbyists so we're gonna do a shout out for them all right so shout out to j mark oliveros Aldwin from Palma Group, Marco Aquatics and Tex from Bacolod, Arnel Fish TV, Isabel Muspa, Vince Lebron Obejas, Gokul Fish YT, Irene Richard Oracion, and to all our fellow hobbyists all over the world, a shout out to you guys. Um, hopefully you're still enjoying our hobby and guys before anything else especially for the beginners and if this is your first time seeing me by the way I'm Mark and I created this channel to help our fellow ABS especially for the especially to the beginners and if you didn't yet subscribe to the channel please hit the subscribe button to get updated whenever we have new uploads or we have new video and please like this video also and without further ado let's get straight into the video for those who are new here if you want to know crossbreeding method more farterly just watch our previous video on how to develop your own strain because i'm sure you will learn a lot more because we've conducted several tutorial videos on creating your own strain because when creating your own strain you need to understand first the three major basics of breeding and selective breeding and other important stuff before applying this method because this is only a summary illustration and how to create this kind of strain and if you subscribe to this channel for a long period of time you already know what i'm trying to say here <laughs> so first before starting on making new strain let's have identify first our goal or traits or what would be the expected outcome of our new strain so we are trying to produce another kind of guppy fish ribbon type with an interesting pattern on its body and of course when doing the crossbreeding for a faster result you need to understand about close related traits breeding or you need to use close colors like reds to orange red to red or just like that and drop a plan as to what traits you want to breed your guppy fish for whether it's colors size tail shapes just like that or other peculiar aspects and select the guppy pair that best showcase those traits to breed guppies selectively you'll need to plan carefully you'll need to monitor your guppies put them on a healthy and nutritious diet and you'll need to invest in aquariums to house multiple generations of guppies and of course equipment to maintain excellent conditions to produce high-end specimens or show quality guppies the best place to get this from reputable breeders and I always advise this especially to the newbies that have been preserving the purity of strains and perform breeding that accounts for the healthiness of the particular guppy strain. These specimens may be a little more sensitive than their regular guppy counterparts so you may need to be more attentive to their upbringing care but they also bring you in more profit in return. So culling and wanted results. So you need to understand that crossbreeding or should I say creating your own strain will result high numerous chances of color and pattern deformities. Which is why you should perform an outcrossing and selective breeding and just select the best pattern result from different breeding lines. And you may need to remove certain gaps from breeding if they don't showcase the traits that you've been after. Or you can give these guppies away or sell them to other breeders and aquarists. Therefore, to produce culling guppies refers to removing guppies with undesirable traits or with abnormalities or diseases from the genetic pool.
So, this is the result of our crossbreeding. Tan tan <laughs> The Galaxy Medusa Ribbon. And the strain that I'm using to produce this type of strain are... Tan tan -na -nan! <laughs> I cross platinum red dragon and ribbon type red lace female to produce ribbons on their offspring. Just use non ribbon male or with ribbon female on breeding. Or if you don't like ribbon type, just use non ribbon male and non ribbon female. So after our breeder produces fry and as a result of selective breeding, and let's say for example, we will now have two fairs. It depends also with your resources. So you have to create line one. 2, 3, or 4, or just line 1 and 2 if you've just limited resources. And don't worry because creating this Medusa Galaxy kind of strain is somewhat easy. You just need to perform 4 to 6 crosses to produce this kind of strain. So lastly, to make the pattern strong, we need to cross the line 1, 2, 3, and 4, just like that. And just select the best pair on every drop. And also to the beginners, as tips for you guys, in every crossbreeding period, you need to look after their traits. Or should I say, if you want to have a faster result, you need to cross close related traits as what I've said earlier. And don't yet try to cross complicated patterns because it will take you 2-3 to three years to have a stable result. Just like for example of crossing mosaic versus grass versus lace and even to solid colors like red to blue or white to red and etc <laughs> so you need to watch for it so that's it so thank you so much guys for watching this video Hopefully this helps you to not to afraid of experimenting or outcrossing your beautiful guppies to produce your own strain. Just make sure to follow our guide. And if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel to get updated on our upcoming videos like this one. And if you have any questions, clarifications regarding to our video, just send out your message at the comment section below. Or follow us on our FB page at habitv.ph. And I'll do my best to answer all of your questions there. So thank you so much guys. So stay safe everyone. To God be the glory. Bye bye.